Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting, Hammond, Louisiana. Thanks for joining us in this video today. In this video today, I'm going to show you something real special about cleaning windows whenever you're power washing a house. Now, we're not actually talking about doing it with a DNI and I system. We're just talking about cleaning the windows on your final rinse down. I'll show you a couple techniques we use as well. On this project right here, we're doing a roof cleaning and a pressure washing on the house, soft washing, that sort of thing. If you guys are interested in finding out more information about cleaning shingle roofs, we just did a one hour training course on roof cleaning and you can go check it out at billydavisonvip.com. Also, there'll be a link in the description. So walk with me, we're gonna go show you some techniques that we use when rinsing down a house after we do our soft washing, just to give everything that nice fresh look. And this is gonna particularly pertain to rinsing windows. All right, guys, whenever we're doing our final rinse down, we want to make sure our windows don't have any little particles on it or straw or things dripping down from the ceiling, that sort of thing. Even after you do the surface cleaning, after everything is done, you still need to go back and do a final rinse down. And I tell guys all the time, a good rinse job makes a good pressure wash job even that much better. A bad rinse job can ruin the whole thing. So people are really particular about their windows. Now, like I said, we're not coming in with a DNI and I system, a spot free rinse after this job, but we do want to still give it a good rinse down and then let the homeowner do their hand wiping if they want to come out with some Windex or glass cleaners long after we leave. So oftentimes you have things drip down from the ceiling, that sort of thing. So you want to wait till everything's finished dripping right before you pack up and leave you want to give these windows a final rinse i want to show you a couple of techniques and do's and don'ts about rinsing these windows with a power washer so there's a couple ways you can do it you can do it with a water hose which is great you can do it with a ball valve that's awesome too but i'm going to show you my technique to doing them so guys right here i have on my gun a j-rod this j-rod has several different tips that i can choose from now they have a fan tip that gives out a lot of pressure there's a fan tip that gives off a little bit of pressure and then there's some straight streams as well we're not going to be using those we're not even going to use the tight fan tip for this wrench down we're going to use the softest fan tip available on our j-rod this is really equivalent to an open ball valve or even or even the this is equivalent to either your black tip on your machine as well so we're going to show you a wrench technique with this fan tip that's a soft rinse and also another trick that we can use with a tighter fan tip or either like a white tip if you have that on your machine so guys again this is a soft fan tip very gentle you can put your face in front of it if you need it to basically once everything is stripped down you want to take the window from top to bottom and rinse it but you want to make sure you do not introduce water back into the ceiling area because then you'll have the same problem again it's going to drip down so i call this muzzle discipline if you will so come in and rinse in a circular motion and that's all i wanted to take just literally a few seconds start release your burst pressure go to the window rinse in a circular motion two or three seconds and you're done. But you're not quite done just yet. But I always tell my guys, we don't know if this window is ground free until we touch it. And that's just as smooth as Jacob's face. All right guys, I'm gonna show you something else. Another technique that you can rinse a window with a white tip or either a tight fan tip on your J-Rod. Now again, this is a little bit more advanced and oftentimes we want to do this because the window seal has a lot of mold and mildew and crud built up in that window seal. And we're not interested in taking all these screens off and scrubbing it with a brush. So we want to dislodge it. Obviously we treat it with sodium hydrochloride first, but on a final rinse, I'm going to show you a technique that I've coined the term of blading. Y'all may have already been using it, but this is something I've been doing for years. I can use a white tip doing this at 4,000 PSI 
or either my J-Rod, my tight fan tip, but you have to be very careful. All right, guys, this is something I call blading. You want to just use a small portion of this spray pattern, not the entire fan tip. Guys, that's all you gotta do is use a portion of that spray. You can do it here. Guys, as you see there, the majority of my flow and my pressure is bypassing that window seal. Now, again, you can use a white tip doing this, but this is an advanced technique to use, so be careful doing it. Again, that pressure can blow seals out, so you want to keep it moving, and that is just so you can kind of dislodge some of that mold and mildew and old bugs and stuff that get down in these cracks. Now, if you're pulling out the window screen, then you wouldn't have to use this technique. But if the window screens are in place and you're not interested in doing all of that extra work, this is a good way to dislodge this stuff and it flushes itself out. Again, these window seals get condensation throughout the day. Temperature changes, that sort of thing. They get sticky and wet. Bugs stick to them, they get trapped there. Then the dust on top of it and that's where you get all of that. So guys, again, I'm Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washing Painting. Billy Davison, VIP.com, and we hope to see you in the next video.